The Bible says the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of what? The kingdom of heaven where God dwells. His kingdom operates a certain way. And the kingdom of heaven operates like a man who called his servants together. And he looked at his servants. He observed, he analyzed his servants. He gave each according to their ability to handle what he gave them. In other words, he is not arbitrary. He is not capricious. He, he gives because he's assessed his servants. And he's given to them what he knows they can handle, that they can re give him a return when he returns. Don't take a day of rest if you haven't worked the other days. And you have to apply this to the spiritual. You cannot rest in Jesus if you haven't worked with Jesus. The master will return. You don't know when. He's not going to tell you when. He just says, work. Master, I took your five. And I went to the exchangers. And I gained five more. Here Here's the five you gave me, and here is five more. Well done, good and faithful servant. You did not appreciate the value of what I gave you because you were looking at the amount of what I gave others. Jesus said to Peter, I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. Let everything else fail except your faith. There's only a shame in not increasing who you are, not improving who you are, not becoming a better person, not every day deciding to be better. Why am I going to be better? Because my master is coming back. Why do I need to get up and work? Because my master is coming back. You make a decision to do something and you do not let fear cripple you.